Hello vlog people, what's up? I'm back in my studio sitting on the floor and I'm gonna do a little haul video and show you the stuff I got at Stanley's Kamikaze. I haven't put a video up on the vlog channel since I've been home, so basically we were missing one, but uh, you know, it's just, uh, I went to see the Peanuts movie last night, how's that? Um, anyways, so I got more comic books than toys on this trip and part of that is because, and here's a shout out to that Spider-Man booth, all one word on Instagram. It's a, a Spider-Man booth that has a, a store in Southern California and they do all of the regional conventions down there. And you go to the Comic-Con like it's Stanley's Kamikaze and they literally just sell just Spider-Man. That's all the comics, mostly comics, uh, toys, all that kind of stuff. But what's really, really cool is that they had a lot of variant covers I had never even seen before, never even heard of before, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you some stuff I got there. So I'll start you with the toys. First of all, look at this guy. This is a Mexican bootleg Spider-Man from the 1980s. And the guy who I bought this from showed me he had Robin from the same set that was still in the packaging. And it's just like, you know, like the equivalent of what we might have got at the flea market when I was little. And um, yeah, he's got like, you know, ball joints and he doesn't move very well because he's cheap. And I, I, I've already, you know, popped one of the arms and one of the legs off a few different times. But uh, I love the eyes on him. I love the... Um, even though he, he, you can tell he's a knockoff, they did a great job on it. And like metal um, pieces in the ankle. And it's a, it basically there's three different types of plastic. Like the feet are a different plastic from the legs and arms are a different plastic from the chest. And then the head's rubber. So actually that's pretty cool. Um, it looks like the uh, paint, the webbing is coming off the top of the head. A little bit of wear there, but uh, he's going to look cool on my Spidey shelf. Uh, this guy. It actually got from that Spider-Man booth. He's a 1999, you know, a licensed Spider-Man figure. And he's just one that I've never seen before or haven't seen in many years anyway. And he'll look good on my Spidey shelf. Uh, this I got from a different booth. I don't know where he's going to sit. He says he's designed to sit on the top of your computer monitor. I'll have him sit somewhere. Maybe we'll just have him sit on the edge of, the sh of my Spider-Man shelf. But he's pretty cool. And then last but not least for the toys is uh, this was actually cool. There's a guy who he three, this is not cardboard. This is, um, the body is 3D printed. And then the design is like a vinyl adhesive and then it has something sprayed on it to get to make it, you know, permanent. So this guy was selling basically all kinds of different pop culture figures in this like Minecraft toy style. And like I said, it's just his own little thing. He pre 3D prints the bodies and then prints the designs out on a vinyl adhesive that he attaches. And so it's just like, because it's like um, an indie artist thing, I just thought it'd be cool and he'll look good on my shelf. And then, okay, so on to the comic books. So this is a Spider-Gwen variant that is exclusive to uh, Decomixado, which is, uh, I understand is a toy, toy and comic book store in Mexico. So Humberto Ramos was the, uh, the, the, the cover artist on that one. Uh, this is a sketch variant of Spider-Gwen number one. Uh, there was a whole line of, because um, anybody who knows comic books knows that the, 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 the composition and the pose of Spider-Gwen is a tribute to a classic Amazing Spider-Man cover by Todd McFarlane. And uh, so they did a whole series where basically every uh, issue, every Marvel Comics series that month had a variant cover that was a tribute to that old Spider-Man cover. And so they had the full color version and then the, the black and white is the sketch variant and there's only 1500 of these. Very, very cool. Uh, Avenging Spider-Man number one, I just got because I used to have it and who knows what happened to it, I lost it. I've got two and three in my comic collection. Uh, this is actually cool because right beside it was the cover that the pose is based on. So that was a drawing, um, but this one is, it's action figures. So it's like an action figure variant of The Amazing Spider-Man number seven from Marvel Now. Uh, this I thought was great. The Spider-Man and the Green Goblin doing battle on a variant cover of uh, Superior Spider-Man issue number 31. And, okay, this, I, had, I, had, I was missing three uh, issues uh, to complete my collection of the Superior Spider-Man. And so I've got them all now. Woohoo! And he, uh, this one has an Humberto Ramos signature on it. So... I love getting my comics autographed. It's just I've told you in previous vlogs that I just never have time to do it while I'm at the con. Um, you know that I collect the Scotty Young Baby variants and I had actually seen this one before but didn't grab it. I probably just didn't have the money that day. Uh, so now I saw it and grabbed it and now I love it. It's actually a gatefold so it wraps right around and uh, yeah, it's a wraparound cover and that's super fun. 
And this, see I've been collecting all of the different uh, Gwen variants, and I thought I had them all, and then I saw this one, and now I hope I have them all. And this is actually the one that caught my eye first at that, that Spider-Man booth. A Spider-Gwen number one variant. It says Phantom variant down here. I don't know if you can see that, if it's still in focus, if I hold it this close. But uh, this Phantom variant, uh, variant edition of Spider-Gwen number one. And I had never seen this, never heard of it, nothing. I don't even know who the artist is. Um, there's a signature on it, but I can't make it out. So if you've seen this before, you know who it is, please let me know. Because, um, yeah, that's awesome. I grabbed an issue of Edge of Spider-Verse number 5 because here's a little story for you. The comic book store that I was frequenting at the time that Spider-Verse was happening, they, I don't shop there anymore because I was having a problem with them not putting aside the ones that I had signed up to get put aside for me. And that's bad enough. And then you take into account the fact that I was a paid VIP member. So that means I paid $30 to have a year of my comics being put away for me and the ones that I want, they'll put them aside so I can come in and get them whenever I want. And I would get the list of what's coming out every week and send them an email, hey, on top, on top of my regular stuff, one of these, one of these, one of these. And they, they, they just kept like not getting my stuff that I had ordered. So when they didn't put aside a copy of Edge of Spider-Verse number five, when he finally tracked one down for me, it was a second print. So I grabbed this so that I could have a first print, and now I do. Uh, this is cool. A J. Scott Campbell Spider, Amazing Spider-Man. If, if anybody was watching this who like doesn't care about comic books, just hit stop now, because we got a few a, a, a ways to go. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 11, and I hope you can read it there. All of the text is in Spanish. El asombroso hombre araña. And uh, portada variante. So that's Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man number 11. It's an, a Mexican exclusive. You notice the price is even listed on it in pesos. It's 35 pesos? Or is that 3,500 pesos? Uh, I'm not sure, because it's, oh, it's a period, yeah, so it's got to be 35 pesos. But it was a J. Scott Campbell um, Black Cat exclusive. And part of the reason why I wanted to get this, not just because it's cool and unique and I've never seen it and I'll never get it again, but because I had seen two Black Cat cosplayers that did this with the um, ball of string with the Spider-Man eyes on it. And so since I put them in my video that is on the channel right now and it's blowing up the spot already and it's only been up a day, um, got that. This was super cool. I did not get this from that Spider-Man booth. I got this from another booth. But this goes in my Spider-Man collection, even though it's a Star Wars comic book. Star Wars number one, variant edition, with uh, Luke and Leia posed like Spider-Man and the bad guy on the cover of Amazing Fantasy 15 from 1962. Or 63, whichever it is. Anyways, yeah, so that, I couldn't not get that. Even though it was a little on the pricey side. And somebody on Facebook, when I posted a picture of this, was saying that uh, they, were, they, they thought they had collected all of the Star Wars number one variants and had never seen this one. So, I got it. <laughs> and, um, oh, these are, these got mixed in because I bought them while I was in California. It's just the regular, uh, my regular, like, picks for the week. So they don't count. I will show you this one, though, with the, uh, Deadpool number one hip hop variants. I'm collecting these variant, uh, these hip hop variants like crazy. Now, not just. I'm very sorry about that. You see, what happened was it got to memory card full. I've been using, I mean, you've seen how many vlogs this right here is number like 44 in a row. And I basically started doing them on the day that I got this camera. And I don't think I've wiped the card since I got the camera. So, in the middle of talking to you, it was card full and I got to edit it together. But where were we? Oh, yes. Okay. So, this is one of the marquee attractions on this little tour of Spider Man comics. This is a 2008 Stephen Colbert variant that I had never seen, never heard of, nothing. So that's, uh, I'm very excited to uh, to get hold of that and add that to my collection. Loving that. And uh, Free Comic Book Day, Secret Wars. Oh, this is just comic books that were already there. Okay, so that was my haul. That's all the stuff that I got in Los Angeles. Oh, shoot, there was a t-shirt that I got that I didn't bring in the room here. I'll show it to you later. I got a Spider-Man t-shirt from um, a local, uh, a local business in Los Angeles is like a tattoo place and then they started doing t-shirts of their designs and their whole gimmick was that there's text in the design that when you hold it one way it says one word and then when you flip it over it says something else and so they got the license to do a, a series of Marvel ones and the Spider-Man one that I got for one the t-shirt is super high quality and uh, it says Spider-Man you flip it over it says web slinger I'll be I'll wear that in another vlog and then uh, we'll talk about it when uh, when I'm wearing it so anyways that is my uh, Los Angeles 
this Stanley's Kamikaze haul video now that I'm back home in my own studio here. So I actually am going to do a little bit of organizing my comic book collection now that it's getting out of control. That's what I got going on today. And uh, now all of a sudden I have to edit this video together because it's not just take a file and upload it. I now have to put two files together. But that's okay. I'll do anything for you for some fun vlog action, right? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Check out the new Spider-Man video on the main channel. Usually, if something gets to 5,000 views by the end of the because upload every Friday, right? So if it gets to 5,000 views before Sunday's over, that's usually good. And the new Spider-Man video is at 5,000 views like this morning, almost when I woke up. So very, very exciting. And so uh, keep on rocking and rolling. Don't take no shit off of nobody. And we'll see you again here tomorrow with a new vlog when I will have had a haircut. Ooh, <laughs> bye.